What up everybody, Larry here, the FUC. Got a little unboxing today. So, I know everybody isn't sports fans, but you know, I am, and um, this has nothing to do with sports. So, if um, this is horror related, so you can keep watching if you want. Uh, so don't turn it off just because I said sports. But over on um, Mintage Authentics, um, a couple of us, we have a fantasy football league together. It's the Mintage League. Um, if you look back, I've won it in the past, and um, I've had some videos before on my winnings. Well, this year, I made the championship. Even played Mr. Michael Minton in the championship, too. Mintage Authentics himself, and, um, well, he beat me. But, fuck it. Second place. So, um, I got some store credit for second place. Nowhere near as much as first place would have been, but better than nothing. So, I was able to scoop one thing off with my winnings so this is my 2023 mintage authentics fantasy football league winning right up top we got a card just a regular old card nothing special because this isn't like a macabre box it's just one thing anyway very cool very cool this is something that i've actually wanted um i i really dig the movie part one and two um so do my kids i don't think my wife's ever seen them but um, I fucking dig the movie. And um, th this came in some of their boxes in the past. And um, I never was able to get one. So while I had the chance of some free money, might as well grab, bam, a Happy Death Day mask. So these masks, um, I'm pretty sure are just Trick or Treat Studios. They're not the shittiest masks. Like, they're not like so paper thin like um, Ben Cooper style. But they're also, you know, it's also not thick. You know, more thick, like, plaster-like type, I guess you would say. So, it's still a cheaper mask. I did like this one more. I don't know why. He had some different ones on there. Um, some with and some without freckles. This one has little freckles on it. And I actually liked it better. I don't know, paint job. It just looked a little better to me. But um, it is Beckett certified. Um, and it has, of course, uh, fuck is her name? I can't think of her name now. Jessica Roth, some shit like that, who played Tree, the main character, um, you know, everybody named Tree, and Tombs. I can't even think of his name anymore. I'm actually friends with him on Facebook, shit. I can't think of his name. But anyway, so, double autographed. Um, cool. I'm happy to stick this on my wall. Like you said, if you've never seen Happy Death Day, it's a... Uh, I can just say it's more of a, I guess it's a, a new age uh, horror film. It's kind of like how Scream was and everything. You're like, you don't know if it's for kids or teens. It's not really scary. It's more of a, uh, yeah, like a teen movie to me. But really good movie. I really dig it, part one and two. Uh, and I'm happy to have this finally. So thank you, Mintich Authentics, for um, letting me, um, <coughs> well, come in second place and get a mask. So this has nothing to do with Mintich Authentics. This actually came in the other day. I just never did an unboxing on it, might as well. So it's a box that, of, uh, I would say VHS tapes, but it's actually uh, PAL tapes, P-A-L tapes, which is, you know, pretty much like a VHS, except for not in America. It, um, instead of a coming, I guess instead of a VCR, it plays in a PAL player. I don't know. I don't have one, but I seem to fucking keep getting PALs all the time, mainly because they're cheaper and they're, I really dig their covers. I mean, I'm probably not going to watch them anyway. I have been looking at purchasing a PAL player, but, uh, you know, you gotta buy them overseas and hell, $60, $80 just for the shipping. So, anyway, I will get one one day. Because I can, I can, with, I can get one for probably about 120 to 150 because, you know, I can get a player for 50 and then a little more than that just for shipping. But, hey, anyways, I'm talking a lot. This was just a lot of, uh, some old, uh, horror tapes that, I really dig. Um, there's really only one that I really wanted, but um, hey, why not get a whole lot for the, 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 the same price? Anyways, I got Evil Speak. This fucking cover is awesome. Evil Speak's a pretty damn good movie. Um, you know, not one of the greatest of all time, but it's a good movie. Um, if you ever watched the Horror Holics, me and Steven, um, Steven's Horror Craptacular, even have a fucking uh, little homage to Evil Speak. Um, yeah. 
Nice. All of these have a clam or in a clam box. Didn't even fucking rewind it, assholes. Anyways, that's cool. Like I said, I'm, I got these mainly for display. I like to get uh, different cool shit. It started one. It started with my first one I ever got. Um, it was um, Swarty Babes of the Slime Ball Bolarama. I got a pal because the cover was different and it just popped. And I used it as a background. And now I've started getting more. I think I have about ten now. Anyways, this is the one I actually. This is the one I actually wanted. Cheesy ass Death Row Game Show. Which, if you've never seen this, you know, it's another one. It's, it's fucking straight cheese. I believe this is late 80s, maybe early 90s. Let's see what it says on here. It doesn't say. Pretty much, I mean, you're a, it's a game show where they get people on death row and either they can win and survive and get released from prison or they or they fucking die. Which they're on, I guess, death row anyway. It was a good movie. Kind of um, went to shit in the middle or towards the ending, but I haven't opened this. Okay. Oh. Sorry. My cat is playing in that box from Ditch Authentics. Now, these other movies, I know, but I've never actually seen them. So, I mean, oh, not all of them. But this one, I've never fucking seen. Um, Blood Tracks. Like I said, very cool fucking artwork, just for background. The mountains echoed with the screams of terror. I've never seen this movie. I, I do own it on DVD, actually. I think it's a bootleg. Um, so if you've seen it, let me know. Oh, well. I probably won't be watching this one. This one's fucking all molded up. But I might try. If I ever get a fucking... That one's really fucking molded up. If I ever get a player, then I'm going to open that one up and try to clean some of that mold off. But... Until then, this one is fucking cool. So everybody knows, fucking Shocker by Wes Craven. Mitch Pelegi, um, who played, um, oh, I mean, god damn it, played uh, Horace. Give me his fucking name, Horace Pinker. Um, you know, electrocuted comes back. Well, I guess not to life, more through electricity and shit, but uh. Exclusively on exclusively on video for 12 months. Cool. That one is cool though. Like I said, badass. Just background. I set it on my shelves behind other items. Kind of like wallpaper. This one looks good. Whoever had these didn't rewind a single damn one of them. A couple more. Never seen this one. I do have it on DVD. Massacre at Central High. Funny thing about this is I almost watched this earlier. I was at work and I was on my lunch break and I was watching um, a movie on, uh, well, I was finishing up a movie that I've been watching for weeks on, uh, just on YouTube. And this was the one that actually popped up next for me that it recommended me to watch next. So like I said, I've never seen it. Don't know what it's about. A young student's promising athletics career is cut short. School bullies smash his leg, leaving him semi-crippled, bloodied. And twisted, oh, brooding and twisted, he strikes back using spectacular, brutal methods. He wrecks powerful revenge on each of his assailants. There is almost no limit to the ingenuity of his murderous imagination. This film is definitely not for the squeamish. Sweet. Okay, I'll check it out. Last one. I just saw my kid pull up. I got hurt before she gets in here. Lost in time. So... Seth starring Bruce Campbell, actually, Zach Galligan. I actually don't know this movie, so, but it looks fucking cool. I will check it out with all of them in it. And, uh, hey, give me a thumbs up. Tell me if I should watch one of these. Um, I can probably find them on YouTube. But anyway, here comes my daughter. Love y'all. Deuces.